Holy moly. Look at this. Hi guys and welcome back to Hummingbird Acres. Today is a garden day. I am going to pot up those tomato cuttings we took a couple weeks ago and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a garden tour. We are getting ready to head out of town and I want to make sure I document what the garden looks like now so we can then look at it what it's going to look like when we get back. So let's get started on those tomatoes and then we'll take our garden tour. These are the tomato cuttings that I took a couple weeks ago. I'll link that video down below for you so you can see it. But look at all those roots. They are doing great. And we are getting ready to leave for a couple of weeks. So I wanna make sure that I get these in pots so that they don't get all root bound in this jar. And I actually did take about, I don't know, 20 more cuttings last night and we will take that jar with us. So when we get back, we should have lots of tomatoes. So I'm using our Pro Mix potting soil and just some cups we have. I'm gonna fill these up and then put one cutting in each. And then we have our farm sitter, plant sitter coming while we are gone and they will make sure they get watered. This soil is pretty dry, so what I'm gonna do is fill them all up, water them down, and then I will put the tomatoes in them. the middle of June here in Maryland zone 7a and I have to say I am pretty happy with how our garden is doing right now uh, we had some water issues which I think we have gotten completely fixed we set up some more automations for the watering which seems to really help but really happy how everything is growing and we are excited to get back from this trip so we can see how much more growth we have. So let's take a look at our, um, this is one of our raised beds. We're not actually growing in the bed. We have everything in pots this year because we are going to be moving it. And this bee balm, I've never seen this bee balm bloom. This is gorgeous. 
just noticing that. This is our more of our pollinator bed and more of our like ornamental plants. So we have our rose bushes. There's a blueberry bush in there. Um, our red bud tree, which is looking awesome. So this bed overall, very happy with. Um, on this side, we have another bed, again, that is just a lot of pots. This one is our fruit bed. So more blueberries are here. We actually have some that are ripe. And we got some raspberries and blackberries. Actually, I think that's a blackberry, not a raspberry. Garrett's fig trees are here, pineapple, pear, apples, and more fig trees, all looking great. Really happy with all of that. Oh, I just noticed this. Look at these raspberries. These look really good. Garrett, we might have to try some of these raspberries today. Some over there too. Those all look great. You're gonna check the fig tree. The fig tree's over here. That's the apple tree. So more fruit trees. They are looking good. This one here, this one kind of bothers me. So the middle stalk on this died, but it has the two branches. So I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work when this grows taller. We might have to train this. That's something to Google. Or if you have any suggestions, have you ever had a fruit tree do this? Some suggestions would be great. Um, our tomatoes, I did cut and prune some of these last night. And we have some fruit. So maybe when we get back, they'll be some, they'll be bigger. Yeah, maybe when we get back, the, the, the apples might be ready. The apples aren't gonna be ready yet. Some apple trees, we do have some apples on this one. Um, <laughs> peach, more apple. Our thought is, is this garlic will come out when we get back and then we will be able to plant more tomatoes in this bed. Our, our Aldi's raspberry bushes are looking good. This one here needs to be weeded. There you go, so you can see it a little better. Some little growth there, and then some right there as well. Don't get too but close, Mom. That's fine. More fruit trees, they are also looking good. Let's go this way. Um, squashes, carrots are coming up great. Hunter loves these, he comes and checks on them like every day. Um, and then, Look at our onions. We did not think we were gonna do very well with these onions, but they are looking awesome. Yeah, so excited for those. Mom, you... Our herb tower, it is, the onions looking great. Our herb tower, I just gave it a haircut last night because I don't want it to go to seed while we're gone. So I just gave everything a haircut. We do have some friends of ours coming to take care of the garden while we, were, while we are gone. Um, so grateful and so thankful for them and we told them anything that's ripe you can take so they're looking forward to that this is our spaghetti squash and then all of our peppers which are looking are these hot peppers they are a mix of hot peppers and bell peppers Ooh, I don't, so I don't think I'll eat more berry bushes looking good look oh, at all the fruit on those them. you can eat that look at all that that looks so good Mom, you can eat this you can eat that one? Yeah. Do you want to take it? I think you can take it. You can take it. You're not going to get hurt. You're pulling. Hold on, let go. You have to. Oh! Mom. It's okay. You can get it. Can I eat it? Sure. Brush, brush it off. Okay, brush it off. All right, don't with it though. You don't want to smush it. Are right, you going to eat it? How is it? Good. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. We have been finding with our strawberries, especially, they're better than store bought. Okay, right, I'll take it. Eggplant. And then this is our zucchini. I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. I have a feeling that it's going to take off while we are gone, and then we're not going to get any zucchini. Um, and you can already see, it looks like powdery mildew is already starting to get it. And I know it's not gonna be long before the squash bugs will be here. Um, so I don't know if we'll get any zucchini this year, but that's okay. Uh, berries. And then this side is more flowers. Our dahlias are looking great. This should be in full bloom here soon. That will be pretty. And then the rest of our dahlias. And then these are our, oops, let's go this way. Um, these are our potatoes and the cat. 
has found that she likes to lay in this spot for the potatoes. So she keeps getting in trouble for that. But the potatoes are looking good. And then our blueberry bushes, we're probably gonna miss out on some of these as well. But that's okay. Um, you got a raspberry. I'm gonna taste check. You're gonna taste check them? Um, we'll probably get some blueberries off of them. But this one looks great too. Yeah, you can taste check that one. I'm gonna pick some. Good. <laughs> Good. Loving my zinnias. Little disappointed with how many red. I am not a red person. Um, so, or like red flowers and stuff are just not my thing. So a little disappointed at all the red, but loving the rest and all of the colors. Like if we were staying, I would definitely be cutting that one and that one over there. And these white ones are gorgeous. Looking forward to coming back and this being in full bloom. Mm -hmm. Um, our Audi, not Audi, Aldi's grapevine is doing great. And then all of our basil and filler flower is doing good too. Mom, do this. This is mint. And this is actually taking a little bit of time to take off, which so is okay. Good. Garrett says it's so good though. But here is our main garden before we leave. Looking great. I know it's going to be out of control when we come back. All right, let's go look at the strawberries and the green beans. Yeah. All right, before we get to the strawberries and the green beans, these are all things I said I wasn't going to do anymore. I said I wasn't going to pot anything else. I was done. I lied. I got four yuccas, some more red buds. I um, actually have two red buds and two mimosa trees under there. I just, I couldn't help myself. Could not help myself. More here. Our pollinator towers are looking great. I can't get over the sedum on this one. This is just gorgeous to me. But these pollinator towers are looking good. Oh, wow. And this is, oops, oh, where'd it go? This is more coneflower that I took. Super excited about that as well. And if we walk over here, we will get to the green beans. So these are looking good. Um, they, like the ones down that end seem to be doing great. They're nice and bushy. I feel like overnight these took off. These are bush beans. They are not anything that needs to be trellised or anything like that. So, but they are looking awesome. We will have green beans when we come back. And then a couple other things oregano and a coneflower and a lavender that's looking great and this strawberry tower is doing awesome look how bushy it is we have gotten some great strawberries off of this tower you can pick them we've gotten oh where is it there we've gotten some great strawberries off of this tower super excited about this okay and then i just have to show you it's kind of dying but the gardenia is beautiful and blooming Mom, and super, super yeah. excited about it. Mom, We're going to transplant this when we move. All right, guys, that is our mid-June garden tour. It was short and sweet this time because we are getting ready to head out of town. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us at the farmhouse. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell because our next few videos are going to be all on our property in Virginia and all of the great things we have going on there. So we will see you guys next time and have a great day. Have a good day.